Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Reno 10X Zoom, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, before we get started, there is a single thing that we will need for this process, and that is a SIM card, and specifically SIM card with a uh, some kind of pin on it. Now, I don't think you need to, if I remember this correctly, I don't think you need to know the pin, but we'll check this out in a second. So anyway, there's my SIM card, it has a pin, uh, some eject tool, and that's about it. Now, on here you can see that I do have the page for verifi uh, verifying the uh, previous user using the pattern, or if I close this, it will tell me to verify it using Google account. So, assuming we don't know either of those, we're just gonna bypass this. So, let's take off the case. The tray is at the bottom. There we go. Let's pop it back in. Oh, it just came out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Give it a second and it should take us to, come on, there we go, to this lock screen. So let's see, now we will need to try popping it out and see what will happen. And there we go. So we just need to pop it out. As you can see it is a little bit out and that shows you, well, that takes you to the lock screen, which is where we want to be. So once you wake up the device, how the message that we needed just disappeared, so I'm gonna pop it back in. As you've seen the first time around, there was a little pop-up right there, which is what we are looking for, and it just appeared again, right before the screen timed out. There we go. So that's what we're looking for. So from here, let's see, we need to do this. Yep, there we go. You pull down the uh, notification, as you've just seen, and it brings down the notification panel, and from here you want to simply click on the settings icon. Now I'm gonna do this once again, just so we can see this. So, SIM card in. It shows me the pin in a second. There we go. So as you can see, there's the pin. SIM card out, pop up, drag the pop up down, let it go. And as you can see, it brings down the notification panel. From here, settings, disregard the message. I'm gonna actually take it out fully just so you can see this being out. There we go. And from here, we're gonna scroll down to additional settings. Scroll down again, back up and reset. Erase all data, then erase all data. Erase all data. And once again, erase all data, or erase data in this case. And as you can see, this will begin the bypass, or not bypass, but a factor reset of the device, which removes the bypass. So, let it run through. Once it's finished, we should be back in the setup of the phone with the phone being fully unlocked. So I'll come back once we can actually see the language selection from the setup. So you can see that factory reset has now finished and we can now quickly go through the setup. Now I'm gonna skip as much as I can. Uh, I'll point out a couple important things. So going straight through this. Number one will be with the Wi-Fi connection page. Uh, by default, when the device is locked, you cannot skip this page, but because it's not, I can just kind of skip this. Can get past this without any problem. Here we have Google services. Later. And there we go. As you can see, the device is now set up, uh, fully unlocked. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.